Yes, hello there. I have a little energy work update for you guys. Um, I'm not completely sure when I'm uploading this, but never mind. Uh, this is right hot from the press. Like, as it is, it's coming to you with two crystals. Because, you know, I had an attack of the of authority anxiety. Or, as I tend to call it, the exa the authority plague. <laughs> If that's if I can call it that, um, and I'm struck by how completely disproportionate the anxiety is to the interaction that is causing it. It was about getting two more holiday days or not getting them, and it's not the end of the world. We do have big plans for a holiday, but we were going to realize those plans anyway with or without those two days so no biggie and i am over there with the authority anxiety so you know i am not just taking this stuff lying down from my past myself and all that anymore so i just went and sat and meditated for a bit and i noticed um some interesting shakti energy patterns so those are what's what it's all about okay so imagine let me see how that looks okay you have two crystals here this is my uh smoky quartz phantom right there i just picked them up because they feel nice at the moment i just need to simmer down because i'm going to the kitchen afterwards to the social restaurant and I need to be a bit, you know, in the smiley face mode. So hence the, the, the vlogging also. Imagine this is my backbone and this is my belly. This is a witch's finger crystal. It's actually quite cool because it's got all this extrusions and stuff going on in there. That's my belly. Okay. Normally, I think what happens is that our Shakti energy comes up more or less through our bellies anyway and sort of fuels the departments that need to be fueled you know according to um the, the the i don't know the makeup the blueprint that's individual to each and every one of us so everyone will have a slightly different uh expression of that shakti energy in this area so in the front half of us okay what i've been doing um over the past six months and a bit i think is it the end of june so yeah six months exactly is i've been guiding the shakti energy along the spine as close in as possible and whenever there was an area that i felt like it's not accessible to the shakti and I want it to be exact, you know, accessible to the Shakti. We just would hold there and we just sit there and wait for the interaction to go, to start off. And that takes some doing and some time. I've been making great progress with all that. I'm really pleased with the results. And one of the recent developments that I've had is I've had um, a lot more energy in both my solar plexus and my heart chakra areas so because of because of the because the um the chakras and all the networking towards the expression outward is actually like a funnel coming from your spine and then forward and slightly upward that's what it feels like to me anyway there's a like a, a gazillion funnels of energy so if you go to the root of a funnel, that doesn't make sense, I know, but just to the middle and the deepest bit where it attaches to the... Breathe, Ginsberg. <laughs> I can't breathe and talk at the moment. Um, you know, where it sort of commences inside the spinal uh, column, inside the vertebrae, somewhere in that energy line. And suppose there's blockages there or there's lots of, you know, 
programming and emotions and normally those are just blockages basically what i'm finding is all the um troubles that i'm having with anxiety and with you know lack of self-trust and you name it i have it you know it's because there's no energy so what i noticed is um okay here's me set up again i'm just gonna hold them like this so because i was having like a a bit of an anxiety moment episode i wouldn't call it an attack it wasn't that bad but it was out of proportion i could feel that i had done some shakti energy work along the the spine this morning so that was ready there and available what tends to happen normally in a normal state of affairs the energy only goes up through here, through the forefront of us. And then what happens is when we have anxiety, especially if it's repeated and it's been old and you have had to live with that type of pattern and you're, you know, taught to submit to abusive behavior. You've, uh, we've, um, I don't know been silent you know we've not expressed ourselves we've um let them let it dominate us completely okay i'm just sketching here how how that's been for me really what happens is there is like a you could say like a guardian between the solar plexus and the heart area so you could imagine in energy so not in actual physical substance but in the energy where you would have a normal passage through the belly for the shakti energy and then through this kind of an aperture upwards into the heart area okay and then you would have a normally functioning heart sense of self emotional interaction and all that Still, if there's too much stress, and especially if you're scared out of your wits at a smaller age, when you're really, really a toddler or a baby, what happens is that this aperture on top of the solar plexus region will shut down in self-defense. It just tries to protect the heart. Okay, that's what I'm so far, this is more or less what I'm seeing. And I could feel this going like this, you know, because it's trying to do the programming, to execute the same programming, because there's commands from the belly, from the middle of the belly, you know, around this whole solar plexus area, going like, ooh, danger, fear, problem. People are gonna, they're gonna shout, they're gonna, fall over you know everything's gonna the walls are gonna come tumb tumbling down on top of me uh they're gonna bomb uh, everything and uh, we won't uh, you know survival flight fight you know all that is in there it's all in the belly and because it shuts this aperture upward to the heart area i that's what I've had for 50 years. It's all been shut down and I didn't have any or hardly any sense of what lived in here. Hardly ever. Just teeny tiny fragments and bits. And I uh, discovered, so just now really, that the Shakti energy which was behind all that turmoil and all the, you know, nasty all that nastiness, it was neutral, it was all still there. So I just sort of landed my, I focused my attention into that uh, kind of a very small membrane almost layer where, where, this, where this guardian would be, you know, this frontier between the vital expressive self-defense operation that used to be ours for of course millennia i don't know hundreds of millennia that we've needed to be forceful and 
uh, dramatic and all those things, you know? <laughs> and nowadays, many of us are, I think, suffering from the same type of, um, sort of, almost the same type of, they're... Everybody's got these same questions. Who am I? Why can't I access blah? You know, it makes me feel so much better if I do creative things and blah. But all that lives in here. So I kind of got to the point where I could sort of see really the... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, they're sending me messages. I'm distracted. Never mind. The I had to get the Shakti to get exactly right where that membrane is and to just sort of go in there and calm the whole, calm everybody down. And then everything subsided, but it has to happen from behind, from here on outward it can change that pattern of anxiety it actually can how cool is that so that's enough just you know if you want to talk about this let's talk thank you for watching love you see you soon bye bye